Welcome back, survivors, to episode 60. That's right, number 60. I can't believe this uh, this playthrough has gone this far as well, too. But I'm quite happy with that. we got a huge project going on here. Now, I haven't done any more glass in front, but I have had the forges running for about a week. Uh, a lot of time has passed, actually. I don't even know off the top of my head. But I've been keeping the forges run, and they are making shower glass, and I, I do believe there should be several thousand made by now. I did grab a stack of 500, because in this episode, we're actually going to be working on the control room floor. The I guess the center hive mind of the entire complex for the power plant, for anything else that might be going on. It's all made up. It doesn't fucking matter. But uh, what I've done for the control room is it's going to be two floors, so of course I put the letter C on both floors that it comes on, both up and down here, so I know which one is which. I guess I could put signs, but it might look a little awkward. But it might actually, it might look a little better. But anyways, enough about the signs. Uh, this will be the second floor of the control room. It'll be the mezzanine. And that there I gotta fill in with shower glass blocks instead of the rebar frames. Because I'm gonna keep the glass there, but what I'm also gonna do is use that as the TV panel, uh, per se, where you can see all the different TVs. Because I, I do believe I have we have both in here. Let's look up TV. Yes, there we go. We got the large TVs as well, too, so I can make those up. Oh, these take business glass panes. Okay, okay. Now, I've never actually made a TV yet, so... Hmm, I'm going to have to make up some business glass panes while I think about it. Okay, cool. So those would be TV walls. And this will be the second floor, and I do believe I hear myself a screamer. But she shouldn't cause us too much issue here. Uh, so, for the inside walls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it blue metal blocks. Uh, because I finally have a purpose for the blue metal. Those took a while to build as well, too. Those are expensive and time consuming, uh, but they break easy, so I decided to use them inside. And I got all the materials we need to start making control stuff. Now, I didn't want to make the control panels ahead of time, uh, because I wasn't familiar with how much of each I would need, right? I kind of have to do them in little, shorts, um, little short chunks, just so I don't overmake them, because I do have a limited amount of material. It takes a while to get all this stuff, so... Um, we're gonna do that, and I do believe we actually have a screamer hitting the walls down inside our pit here. So let's see if we can take her out from here. Where are you at, screamer? Or are you outside? She may be outside, actually. It sounds like she is actually outside. So we are gonna have to go to the outside to check that out. Uh, just check on this side. Yeah, she's totally outside. Damn it! Okay. Hey, I can't shoot you from this edge anymore. Let's go down and take care of her. If we have to take out a few zombies, we have to take a few zombies. Big deal. Uh, she might be stuck in that corner or banging up against one of these walls. So let's go and uh, take her out. With a bottle of water, that's how we'll do it. Ah, she must be stuck in this corner again. Nope, not stuck in that corner. Where are you? You don't see me, but I can hear you. Oh, she's stuck in this corner. There she is. And she screamed. Well, there's one down. Some hot screamer action. I'll take all your goods anyways, and then I'll come and take out your buddies. Because half of them would have spawned in down here. And half of them would have spawned in up there. So, I'm most likely not going to see these guys. Oh, look at that. Leveled up my shotgun skills. Okay. Was that it? Is that it? Are the rest up top? Hmm, they must be. That was a small, small ass screamer horde. Whatever though, bring it on. Anyways, let's go back up and check this out here because I want to get that blue metal in. The first thing I do know is that I do kind of have a general, uh, general Im image in my head of what I want this all to look like. But these wall sections here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make these blue. Because it has to look industrial, right? It's a big control room. It's uh, um, I'm going to put a couple computer banks in here, probably right in the middle here. A big computer bank of control panels. Then some control panels along the sides. And then maybe some iron desks in the middle here, facing the TV display. And some down this way here as well. And then on the on the second, maybe what I'll do is I'll make a like an office, a mezzanine office up there for the, uh, I don't know. There's no one with me. 
but who would have been the main control person? Yes, technical words. Uh, now, I'm going to leave the floor concrete in here as well, too, because, well, why not, right? I like the look because it's a control room. Do we have another screamer going on down here? Hmm. I hear another one. See, th this figures. When I, when I want hot screamer action, I never get it. Did I just see one? Freaking reflections tripping me out. I never get it, but then when I'm like, you know what, we're going to do a building episode, that's when all the screamers come to say hello. It might just be a stray down here. Let's actually fall down where our elevator is. I'm sensed, so it is a screamer. Where did you end up? Where are you? See, this is the worst part sometimes, having a large, large build like this. You actually end up losing zombies. I, I swear I heard one. Hmm. It's got to be up top. It's totally got to be up top. That's, that's where it is. It doesn't matter. If it falls, it falls off the edge and dies anyways. So, um, Oh, is there some damage in here? Oh, there is too. The one thing I do have to watch out in this room is cops. If they explode, they'll take out all of those um, catapults. And those, those aren't cheap to make. If you look up catapults, here we are. They take 20 forged iron, 2 mechanical parts, and 3 springs. So... I mean, it's it's not terribly expensive at this stage, but it still is quite the expense and I have to make all that iron because I don't make that often anymore. But I am keep going on about zombies and stuff and trying to find them. Let's get some work done in here. I'm going to grab up some of the blue. Oh, and what I've also done too is I've, I've moved a crafting table down here so I can craft on the fly and I don't have to keep running up and down to uh, my storage room floor to use the crafting table. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the blue blocks here and some shower glass blocks. And there we are. And basically fill it in. I might run vents and stuff up where these poles are anyways. So those I'm not going to bother covering for now. But I do have to do in all these walls with blue. And I'll probably have to nerd pull my way up to there. But that's not a big deal. That takes like a matter of minutes. And... Hey, there's a rebar frame up on the roof. What are you doing up there, rebar frame? Acting a fool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead here, guys, and I'm going to get this filled in with blue. And I'm also going to go ahead and fill that in with glass and then make some. If we look at our control panels here, I actually need to decide which one. Because uh, the, these have an angle on them, so I can't stack them. Uh, but I, there is, there's got to be some the bases you can stack. Control panel top. Oh, okay, those are the ones I need to stack. And they're all different. So what I'm going to do... Wow, there's a whole ton of different ones. What I'm going to do is actually make three of each of these. And then we'll uh, we'll come back and then we'll build a, a computer tower here to see what that looks like. I'll see you guys right after this break. Alright, so I got this done. And it's getting late at night here. It's uh, almost 1500 and it's getting dark. It gets very dark on this side of the building this time of the day. Uh, so as you can see, I've done in all the walls. I actually just had barely enough. I had to go <laughs> make like 50 more. So it wasn't so bad. I didn't fill in that spot up there because the wall is going to be a little different for the, uh, uh, the control room master office. But what I've done here as well, too, is I've left an opening so that I can deal, or build a what's both going to be a conduit tunnel and a pathway to the back where the power plant is going to be. So I still have to dig out the tunnel in there. I'll probably do that on the nights, just um, passing time when I can't really record because it's hard when it's this dark. But we still do have a few hours of semi-lightness. So what I'm going to do... Oh, no room and crafting table output. That sucks. Is I'm going to go ahead and start grabbing up some of these suckers here. Uh, now, oh, where did it go? There you are. All right. So I didn't, I wasn't actually able to get all of them. Really? That's weird. Okay. Let's get rid of some of this random stuff on me. I absolutely do not need right now. That works. And we will pop these into my inventory. And see what looks the best here, because I want to do a nice big bank right here. I think that would look really cool uh, right up to the ceiling. So we're going to go ahead with, I guess, control panel 4 and see what that looks like here. Okay. Oh, so these are going to have to go on the outside. And there's going to be uh, room on the m in the middle. You know what, though? I could actually deal with that. 
Uh, now this one has like control panels directly on it. I'm not necessarily liking how that looks. So th this looks like, uh, oh, you know what I should do? I should do a base down here, a base of control panels and then going up. Yes. Okay. So like I said, this is why I didn't just go ahead and build a bunch of them. We're going to go ahead and look up control here and we'll go with, uh, what's this one look like? I like how they show you the texture as well too. It's pretty cool. I want the busiest one. I think, uh, that one's looking pretty cool. Number four. Number one looks all right. Ah, oh, they all look good. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, we'll go with number four, and we'll actually build ten of these suckers up. Oh, we still got lots of supplies. Good, good. Because I'm going to need a lot of these, too. Uh, this is a good test to see how far my supplies will go, because I'm going to need a lot of these in order to do the uh, the power power or the power wow the power plant there we go had a hard time choking those words out for some reason cool so oh look at that i like that i can deal with that so what, what i might do is just pretty much randomize the panels as i go what does this one look like yeah like see these ones with the triggers actually don't really make much sense being up high so I gotta remember that was uh, what control panel 3 something like that ah we'll figure this out I'm just doing this off the cuff no planning at all that's that's how we're doing this today okay so it's got these done so we're gonna go ahead and at least get one side of these done and see what that looks like do they light up at night too no way I never even noticed that that is freaking awesome looking so even if the control panel room is dark, if I turn off all the lights, it'll still, oh, I like that. So later at night, too, you should probably see that a lot better. Oh, that's cool. That, that, doesn't, that was just an added bonus right there. All right, so we got to go pole to pole. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Oh, you know what I might do here? I might do a, a vent or something going up this way just to split up the, the panels. Wow, you sound super close. Where are you guys at? They must be downstairs. Or they're upstairs. Oh my god, the, the zombie's placement is incredibly hard to play sometimes. So these ones aren't bad. Uh, you know what? I might not do this really tall. What I might do is go another layer. And fill in this, go another layer, and then do like pipes and everything going up. I think that would look super cool. Because if we make these, if we look up control, for some reason it has the uh, the venting. Oops, I guess I have to do this over again. Control. Here we go. Uh, for some reason it has the, the venting. Uh, as you know, I can just go ahead and make 50 of these up right away. As these venting as duck control panel, although they're, they're vents. It's really weird how they worded it. Took me forever to actually find that item. I couldn't figure it out. But I'm gonna go around the other side and uh, put in more of these. Oh shush! Look at them complaining. All right, and then we're gonna go out from this wall here again. Cause I can also do a corner. There, there's corner units as well too, and we can go up that way. Then maybe I could throw vents. Oh, okay. And I'm just I'm getting inspired as we go here, but it's good. It's gonna take a, l a little while of dicking around. Was that number one? I forget wh which one that was. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just keep them random and stuff and keep them going. It is what it is. Oh no, it's backwards. Uh, okay. Oh, I did it again. Okay. Um, I also don't have my pickaxe on me either. But it's okay, because these things are pretty damn weak. I should actually be stripping these down as well, too. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this bank together and uh, do the pipes upward and kind of kill off the night shift so that we can see this clearly during the day. Oh, that, that looks so cool. I just, I never liked how the light bounced off these stupid things on this glass. If they just made this without those corner pieces, that would be awesome. But I'm looking forward to that bulletproof stuff. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay, cool, guys. We'll take a short break and I will see you as soon as I've got some progress done. And I gotta go find those little buggers too. And we're back. Happy morning, everybody. 
Yes, that's right. Happy morning. It's 4.31 in the a.m. and it should start getting brighter here pretty soon as that beautiful sun peeks out over that distant mountain ridge and the half-collapsed building over there. Now, I've gotten a lot of work done in here and, oh, look at that. The sun's just peeking in. Look, Oh, there we go. We get to watch it set in. Uh, that's awesome. That was actually kind of cool catching that. Keep on coming there, son. Much appreciated. Uh, so this room should be lit up a little better. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love the shadowing. Ever since the... Oh, this is just abso absolutely beautiful. But I'm going to stop going on about that. Now, what I've done is I've completed this whole tower computer array. I guess this will be the master computer, the main computer. Uh, what I've done is I've ran those uh, control panel ducts up down the sides. Now, these things are actually really, really cool, as I found out. They have many different positions. As you can see, it has the outside positions. Oh. And then it has an angled on the corner inside position, which actually allowed me to use these corner bases and put the, the venting right on top of it and straight up. So I really appreciate how, how many ways you can put this across. Now going up and down, this is what it does. So I have to run some along the ceiling as well here too. I'll probably run uh, them going straight across from here to here to here. Maybe make another bunch of... What I've done up there is I've used the, the base is 01. Where is it here? Oh, I don't have any more left on me. Uh, but it's a base... Um, here we go. Base 08, I'm sorry. All it is is that grayscale base. Uh, nothing special. So it, it looks like a good connector box. So that's why I've used it here. And what I've also done is I have modded in all this conduit. Uh, there's different styles. There's corners, there's tops, uh, there's everything else. And what I've done is I've ran them up the walls, across the roof, look like it's going in and out of those boxes, down along here, and oh, look at that. I made a mistake. There's one up there. Now, these things actually have a, a good amount of hit points considering what they are. Let's go up and take care of that. My bad. So much nerd pull in here. Only got pushed off once and sprained my ankle. That was a little bit of a pain in the ass. But here we go. Yeah, these have like 300 hits. These things are just as strong as those metal blocks are. But basically what I'm doing is I'm running them along all where all the concrete is along the walls. And then I'll put in like a little junction box in along there. So uh, what I'll do when I do have the TVs is maybe actually punch that out, put in another junction box. Maybe... Oh, yeah, I gotta make TVs too. So TVs are two blocks. So there'll be one, two, or eight. One, two, one space in the middle, one, two. So what I might do is make another junction box and run conduit down the glass like this so it looks like it hooks up the TVs as well too. I think that would look pretty damn cool. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead here and uh, make up some TVs. Now, the one bad thing about having a lot in your crafting menus is you do get workbench leg, um, crafting menu leg. What I've tried to do, because there's like 600 different blocks I've modded in from creative in the recipes for survival, is I've tried to split them up through different workspace stations, your own crafting menu. If I put this all simply in your own crafting menu, every time you open up your crafting menu, it'd take like a minute. So um, it's a lot better than Alpha 14 though. Alpha 14, those menus were really bad. Oh yeah, that's right. I got to make some business glass panes you know what let's actually go up we'll check out my forge and make some business glass panes because I, I need a bunch of those anyways um i remember mentioning earlier i was like god damn i need to get on top of that Ooh, you know what actually let's check our blocks we might have business glass panes where are we here metal rivals metal okay we have eight business glass panes but that's definitely not enough but i'll, I'll take those for now and then we'll go and make up, I don't know, 100 more? Why not? We got a ton of glass going anyways. Let's go check this out. Okay. So this isn't making anything at the moment. So I'm going to go paint. And we have business glass paint. So I'm going to make up 100 of these. That should be definitely more than enough. And then I'll have some backup for later on. But I'm also going to go ahead and make some more shower glass blocks. Wow, this has nothing in it. Okay, what do I need? A bunch of glass. Ugh my life my very very small inventory it gets so fast or so full so damn fast all right now i'm slowly actually chewing through you know what uh, what can i get rid of here these bones these bones and even this animal fat there we go i'm slowly uh going through my sand finally now that i'm making all this um 
all this glass because it, the, the stone only stacks to a thousand or the sand only stacks to a thousand so it gets into the forge pretty quickly all right cool so those are being made how is this one doing oh wow look at this okay i haven't come to these in a while actually this is my bad so we still need a glass no we are out of lead on that one okay Okay, um, I'll come back to these later. You know what? I'm not going to spend like eight minutes recording me fucking around with the forges. Whoops. Or fucking up with this. Sometimes like... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy crap. That was so fucking close. Did you see that? Did you see what I did there? Holy fuck. <laughs> Man, I was just pissed my pants. I thought I was going to fall. That would have been an epic one, though. Definitely would have not edited that out. Okay, so we have like 30-some panes there. We, we should be good to go. 38 panes. Yeah, we're definitely good. Now, the control room is actually not that far from my forage and supply room. It's actually only one floor beneath it. <laughs> we're actually starting to populate this building. It actually feels really good. So I'm going to go ahead here, and we are going to make up some TVs. Ooh, I should throw some air conditioners in here as well, too. Um, how long do these take to make? 13 seconds, okay. I'm going to actually make four of these because they kind of make sense in the computer control room, right? Maybe I'll see if I can hang them from the ceiling or something. We'll do something cool with those. But for now, what did I grab up there? Wow, total blanko here. Yes, TVs. We need to make TVs. And I'm not making the small ones. We're making the big ones. Damn it. I forgot to grab scrap plastics as well, too. Ugh, whatever. I'll go grab some scrap plastics and everything. And I'm going to also go ahead and finish filling in these. Uh, those are actually really easy to make. I have to make them in the, um, the crafting table, though. Conduit. Here we are. They're, they're pretty cheap, too. I mean, they only take 20 iron, so whatever. Uh, the only reason they made it take that much iron was because of friggin' how tough those motherfuckers are. So I'm gonna make up some of those, go and grab myself my scrap plastics, because I've got those as well. Make some TVs, put some TVs down. Ooh, you know what I need to make, too, is um, desk. Oops, I'm spelling this shit wrong. Here we go. I need to make some desks too, because we, we definitely need some desks going on in here. So I'm going to go ahead and make up two? Two? Is that all I can make? Nine. Okay, we'll make nine of these. That should be more than enough. If not, I'll have leftover ones. We <laughs> should go with school desks. Put a whole bunch of school desks in here. That would be weird. All right. Awesome. So I'm going to get my shit together here, do a little bit of more building, and hopefully I'll be able to catch you guys before next nightfall and it gets dark again. I'll see you guys right after this break. And it's a whole new day. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back from that break. So, as you can see over there, the... Fuck. Anyways, as you can see over there, uh, the sun is coming up, and it is nice and bright, and the night is over. Now, I went a little, oh, I went a little to town here, and I got it pretty much finished, other than the office upstairs. I need to put in some glass and stuff there and whatnot. But I've laid down a whole ton of conduit. A whole ton of stuff. So let's go take a look. Did I put that? I did put that glass back. Let's go take a look at it here and check out what we've done. All right. So this is the main control room. Uh, what I've done in here is put in a little bit of a um, like a cooling unit. I guess you can say it looks like it cools off all the power supplies, all this area in here. So I put in a whole bunch of venting and stuff, just kind of randomly going around. Goes up there into the office across. Uh, what I might do is look into putting what looks like vents into there. I've looked into it and. If we look up rail, there is a rail here called, where is it? Ah, here it is, black iron railing. Now this could possibly look like vents if you use it up against it. So I'm going to go, uh, let's, let's check this out here. Let's actually check out our iron railing and see what we get. So I'm going to uh, just craft up four of these, I guess. I don't need to take up that much room. Oh my god, I have so many odds and ends of random stuff in my inventory here. That's okay, because I can use them somewhere else on another build. But, ooh, let's, uh, let's flip this upside down. You know what? I actually kind of like that. I think that looks, uh, that, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that looks okay or not? I'm actually, I'm kind of really on the edge with that. Ugh, whatever, get rid of that. But what I've done here is put in a bunch of little details, like I have these uh, fuse boxes you can make, these little boxes here too as well. I just kind of break it up. Everything runs into everything here, so it kind of has a logical layout. 
all these pipes. Uh, this would be the conduit that all the wire and everything runs through. So those are uh, those are protecting the wire from any environmental damage from our computer hive mine here. And what I've also done is putting little TVs on the side, just as little monitors. It's too bad those don't light up. That would be freaking wild if those did. Uh, but what I've also done is put in the main um, the main TV control banks in here. God damn, it's still dark at seven o'clock a.m. in this in this spot. That's okay though. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? It's dark, but it looks like a legitimate control room. Love it. So that's all done. We got all our TVs, and these were expensive as fuck to make. I almost ran out of supplies uh, with making those, but that's okay. I had uh, some electrical components still kicking around upstairs, so I had to go and grab more of those to make those. Uh, but these are all connected together. I went into detail with everything. Everything runs around into something else. It's not just a random thing. Uh, hmm. I should have bent that around the corner. These are all little things I'll do off on the side when, when I see them. Because uh, you can make uh, little corners here. So what I've done is this one bends around, goes through here, comes around up through the top, bends back down into a control box, and then uh, whatever. I don't know what purpose these wires and conduits would serve, but they look pretty damn cool in my opinion. Uh, now, I don't want to really place too many desks in here. What I did was I placed these master control desks, I guess you can call them. Uh, just to make it look like, you know, you're sitting in front of your banks, uh, or bank of like super TVs. Um, Maybe, you know what, this will be the control room, and what I should also make as well too, I think it would be cool, is like a security room, a room, uh, you know, specifically for security, like a panic room maybe, I think that would be super cool to do, but yeah, so this is all done, I love it, lots of details, I mean, just those panels lighting up, and they're, oh, that's just, that's just gorgeous, and I threw in a little bit of light, we didn't need a lot, I like to stay away from a lot of lighting because it does uh, end up lagging you out a bit, especially with graphics. It's heavy on the engine lighting, so just enough to accentuate it, make it look like it's uh, still alive and functioning in here. But we do need to go upstairs to the main control room, which is right here. I guess this will be the main office, I guess you can say. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually make some... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, good God. Oh, yes. Uh, furniture. <laughs> I'll make some filing dre or filing cabinets and everything. We'll put filing cabinets up in here. I'll just make it look like an overall office, right? I mean, it's not too hard. I put my desk down. I'm not a big fan of these iron desks. I really don't like how rusty they are. I mean, it makes sense, but I wish they had um, like a prime one that you can build because you don't always build rusty, rusty desks, right? All right? Let's get rid of that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. That view is actually pretty cool. Looks legitimate. I'm really impressed. Uh, now, this is a benefit of putting hundreds of hours into making recipes uh, so that you can do all this. And the thing, too, is I didn't just make the recipes, like, cheesy, right? All those... Um, all those workstations, you can actually break those down again. So what I had to do is I had to go and look up what's, what the max drops are. Like, let's, uh, you know, I should put in a wall here too. Yes, a glass wall I think would look just perfect. Oh, and then maybe a glass wall on this side just to cover that up. Yeah, I can dig that. I'm going to have to, ah, whatever. You won't even see it. If you notice that, well, then it'll bother me and I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll put it back. But, uh, oh... Damn it. Whatever. Ah, uh, you can see that right through the glass too. That's terrible. Terrible. Let's fix that. Don't. Good thing I have tons of glass. <laughs> I'm sitting there just... Did I do it again? Damn it, Skippy. Get your shit together here. Now, I do have... Um, like, I I've had good computer systems before, but... The one thing I've never bought myself was a nice computer case. And I do actually have a computer case on the way, and it's on the truck to be delivered today. So I've been a little anxious to get that. Uh, it's the Corsair 760T. It's uh, such a beautiful case. Oh, you know what? I put a light there. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll keep the light there, just like that. I don't know. Whatever. I'll come take a look at that again. Oh, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just leave a slit in it. A slit going straight up. There we go. I think that'll look all right. But yeah, it's, it's a fully windowed case along the side, which is cool because I have a Zotec 1080 um, Extreme coming in, and it's got some nice LED on it, and I got a nice custom LED or LED uh, 
GPU bracket to hold it up as well too. So it's going to light up real nice. It's going to be a blue and white design. Uh, it won't be till next month until I get my second motherboard processor in memory, and then I'll actually have two computers, and I can actually do some really cool freaking time lapse stuff uh, with the two computers. But that that's in the future. More to come. It only gets better from here, I think. Oh, you know what? Ah, nah. I don't like that. These damn things, they just, they can't go anywhere. That's what it is. You can't go in, you can't dress them up, take them out. But yeah, so I got, got like a little few touch-ups to do in here. I got to put in a chair, obviously, maybe some other office stuff, maybe another desk, kicking around. You know, make it feel like an office, but this would be the office if you're the main uh, controller person, guy, woman politically correct anyways guys that pretty much wraps up today's episode i can't wait for that case to come in uh, i got big server news coming up as you guys know i had a little bit oh you know what i should put some oh yeah i'm gonna put in glass in here too whatever i'm gonna finish this off but i got big server news coming up so as soon as i got everything finalized i'll let you guys know uh, you guys know i had a little bit of trouble with the server a few days back Actually, yesterday. Oh, time flies like crazy. But I'm going to go ahead here, guys, and then an episode here, reminding you, always back up those game saves, especially if you run a server, and uh, stay classy. Always survive. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys. Hitty, you bunch of dirty hippies. Uh, let's oh, this motherfucker.